lush and blooms and I just heard from my printer that the advanced copies will be coming in this afternoon I'm so excited yeah so um, I'll be showing you how I paint this exact piece uh, for today and um, it will be uploaded on YouTube yeah okay um, when I paint a piece like this I okay for this piece I actually strip in the work but uh, when I paint an artwork like this this is a this is a egg 0.5 by 8.5 is squarish so but I'm going to work on the A4 size and um, yeah for if you are working on this you can actually work landscape or you can actually work portrait so in this case I think I work on a portrait format and I'm going to write it okay this is this color this I'm using for this I'm using ink but uh, I'm going to write it in Prima Pastel Dreams I need to prepare the color so which I did not prepare beforehand usually uh, I usually prepare beforehand uh, in my workshop I mean before I do demo and I will let my student know that uh, they need to prepare the pins uh, I think I'll just use two colors Two colors should be good enough and I'll be using this format so let's uh, I'm at some point I might be a bit softer because right now I'm standing up but when I'm writing uh, I think I need to be in a better position to sit in a better position uh, I'm standing so that I'm talking uh, nearer to the mic so when I go down sitting, it might be a bit softer, so pardon me if my voice can't fit off. So, alright, do what you love, you have to see. Yeah, so I like to slam my paper a little bit. This paper I'm using is uh, Kenson. Oops. <laughs> oh my goodness, I want to say don't. So this piece is not working, <laughs> not working. So is there any word that I can change it to? D O, D O, D O. Any D O? Let me quickly think. Do see if I can change it a little bit. Continue from where I stop. Painting this piece from my book, yeah. Okay, so the colors I use is uh, Prima, and yeah, I will paint the rose here. So I usually start with the center step. If you come for my workshop, definitely you are not like just uh, oh I have seen this, but uh, I'm going to work on a lot more to show you like how you should hold your brush, how to. Uh, uh, give your rose more depth to your painting yeah so these are actually just very very basic that I'm showing yeah okay this is not very dry though yeah so one rose and another one because it's a it's a bigger version of course yeah so center so I'm very glad that uh, most of my students who come for my workshop actually can paint this rose after of course uh, um, of course they are, at first they are a bit uh, worried but I assured them that 99 actually I'm just like I uh, can't be sure but actually it's about 100% all can paint after they leave the work, uh, my workshop so Something like that, and this is what uh, I like to show. I think a lot of a lot of you would like to see my. Um, this, this, I'm 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 trying to be careful with here. So I have a a, a comma stroke here, yeah, a comma stroke, and another one, and another one, and I try to add in here. I 
dilute the paint a little bit for the drop petals. Okay, here I don't have a drop petals. Over here there's no drop petals, but I add in a bit of drop petals. And uh, okay, I'm going to add in the greens. I'm using the Prima. This one has a uh, mint color. I'm adding it here. And the color kind of go very well. Very well. Yeah. I think I saw in one of my video. Um, I can't. I can't remember because uh, I wasn't looking at the looking at what the, my followers wrote, and I think one of you wrote something like uh, try the mint. And sorry, it was after, so I can't really uh, work on that straight away. But uh, right now. This is the mint. I think it's pretty nice, yeah. This mint color is pretty nice. So, as you see, uh, this 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 piece here. It's a very light color. So I have it here. Continued from here, the leaves. Upright, when you hold upright your brush, you will get a thin line and need to slant a little bit to get the smaller one. So over here, over here I have the uh, filler flowers. I'm going to add in the filler flowers now. I'm back, uh, filler flowers. I'll just use a little bit lighter color. colors I have a bit of yellow here so uh, yellow is a uh, classic uh, you, yeah I can use the one from the, the yellow from uh, pre, uh, what do you call it the <laughs> I lost my words pastel dreams I'm sorry pastel dreams here yeah. so you add in all this tiny filler flowers and you can have a bit of orangey the uh, tiny rose buds here so let me just add this in a little bit of um, red to let it flow up let me work a few let me work a few and add on While it is red, you just add on the colors. You just add on these colors here. Yeah. And I fill, I mean, I add on the leaves. This piece is stripped in. I painted uh, separately one rose, another one. And uh, I actually kind of uh, have them uh, using uh, my illustrator, of course, and have this arranged in this way, format it this way, and, and add in the words. Mm. So uh, that's why it doesn't look like it's a piece. But in this, I'm painting here, I will kind of uh, let it drop and even, uh, yeah, I purposely have it link it you know, for the paint, uh, go into my flowers, yeah. I can have it a little bit more coming down coming down here so in your floral reef uh, it's not necessary uh, okay this is the earlier piece that I did this morning which is very crowded, yeah. So this one, uh, is it will be on my YouTube too, and so this one I just want it to be like kind of a at two corners. Yeah, of course you can actually join in and make it into a reef, but it's really not necessary. So I will probably have something like this, but not necessary these two. Uh, with the flowers that I, I mean with the colors, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
yeah with the colours that (uh) I will try to add in a bit of orange I realise that I have some orange over here so (mm) okay I will add in this so I'm back again (ppl) yeah when I (uh) paint I like to have my three sets of my (uh) paint up (uh) of prima set so that I can use any of the colours freely because tropical has more greens (uh) light green has a more like (um) (uh) leaf green darker green this is a darker green and sometimes I use the blue to mix okay so this oops there's some water marks over here so I have this and I will use a bit of the because I I, I need to uh, the mint green I mean need to follow so basically um, you will see that I paint roses first and then I paint the leaves this is my uh, style of working so um, I think it's a lot easier to work that way let me push it back so that I got more space to show you my painting uh, alright so here so this is the mistake I make uh, but okay like it doesn't look that <laughs> obvious <laughs> and uh, okay I try to okay the water you just step it up I try to cover here a little bit now so when you want to pull just pull it and this uh, yellow I didn't mix it just now I was going straight from here so you can have this you can have this So I try to paint all together, then I add in the orange colors. Or the red. Because the paper, yeah, this Kensan paper is the one that I use in my workshop uh, for practice paper. And it's pretty good I use this for the uh, lettering too because it's uh, quite smooth it's not like rough and it won't spread so much sometimes when you get a little bit uh, yeah so I have it uh, go this way and go this way so this piece will look more like an artwork whereas this is not so connected yeah. I've explained earlier and have a bit of this okay. you can't exactly have a dubic duplicate piece uh, exactly so sometimes you just need to change a little bit change a little bit in what you're painting eh? okay I think here I need to have some too not enough not enough of this so maybe some open up one eh? I kind of like this over here so I think I will uh, have an extension of uh, these uh, flowers let me take a drink yeah I will extend it over here I kind of like this piece more than this this is very 
um, very heavy. <laughs> yeah. I like something uh, give it more space. Yeah. Okay. A little bit more. A little bit more for my uh, these uh, open flowers. Just and a bit of this gorgeous, so you can add again if you want. You see, that's the beauty of uh, watercolor. It's funny, it's like um, when I was young. I actually learned watercolor uh, in my course and I don't like watercolor <laughs> because uh, those days when you learn watercolor is not you don't learn this you learn um, you learn fruits and mainly still life so it's uh, I don't know Probably I don't like the restriction. I like to paint uh, something I like. So I didn't do, uh, I mean, I didn't like kind of uh, like it uh, when I was uh, learning watercolor. So I think I don't do very well for my watercolor. And even after that, I didn't pick up watercolor. I didn't pick up watercolor at all <coughs> until recently. Um, yeah, I kind of started. Painting, so I might try to cover this dot here since it's a bit disturbing. This one will dry up later, I hope. So, something like let it go up, <laughs> and here also let it go up. And I think I'm done. Yeah, I like the way they fall. And Can you see that there's two uh, greens over here? Yeah, greens. Hmm. So, get a copy of my book. <laughs> I'll show you how I paint my paintings. Uh, YouTube. So, uh, I have covered this too so far today. And, uh, yeah. More will be coming. So, thank you.